Welcome ye all to Ope Legends of Raspia, the comedy fiction fantasy role-playing podcast with its own unique game, which is designed to be easy enough for anyone who ever wanted a seat at the role-playing table, but didn't necessarily want two weeks of homework just to be silly with friends. So pull up a chair, let down your hair, and spend a few talks with the old bard fox. Well, we'll get to that stat, but first to recap, our hero Phobo in Kaltaria Nomo, I'm gonna stop rhyming now, brokered a deal with the reverse robbing bandit bandit sand pirates to join forces with the highway folk and rebels of the Boylan Mound in order to retake Kaltaria and the Justin Mirage from the Imperial grasp of Toria. Could I name drop a few more plot points? Fobear just needs to kill the sleepy boba first. He'll probably need something bigger than a slingshot, but who am I? Just a disembodied voice to say. In any case, Fobear has just returned to the rest of his party at the Boiling Mound, but an armored stranger awaits at the entrance. Let's see what happens. Link tree slash bard box. More like lunk tree. Uh. I'm okay. ready. I can tell. I can tell you are firing on every cylinder right now. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Xanthi Lunk Tree Black Eye over here. That's what I bring to the table. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Not only that, but also your beloved character from season one known as Zan Hazard. Can't you do a little introduction? Yeah, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm Zan Hazard. I'm the sheriff, and that's pass. The rest of it's pass. Yeah, yeah we're the sheriff. Uh, we kind of ran away from the town of which you were sheriff, so, um, you know, just gonna put that in there for you. Right. Yeah, it's actually kind of relaxing. You know what? No, I'm always the sheriff. Screw it. I'm Thumb. I'm big and tall. And I've got a beautiful red beard and a dog like compliment. Uh, they make me they, uh, they, don't, uh, they make me uncomfortable. Shut so, up, you fool! Complimenting yourself? You did just say you have a beautiful big red beard. I got between me and my, my beard. You get it? Because that's my mouth where I said the thing. Some TM. Pass. That was absolutely beautiful, wasn't it? Um, Hazard? Yeah. Yeah, you want a job? Apparently. I mean, I don't All like right, to run around and not know what I'm doing, but it seems like to be something I'm rather good at. So, uh, Fantastic. That's what I like to hear. You're now vice sheriff. But I'm Cone John D and Town Schooner Isaac. So we have a sheriff in disgrace, a dimensional jumper who looks way tougher than we are. And, um, wait. Oh no, what's that over there? It's a Torian. Everyone put your hands up quick. Suddenly, dots begin to connect in the minds of Yester. And. Mimsy, you stand in the doorway. Sir Mimsy, I apologize. You stand in the doorway of this underground cavern held up by cactus stalks filled with these bandits. Uh, banditos, bandits, and highway people. Um, they are, well, they live outside in the desert here in Knott's. And so they are quite dirty, and they smell like sand, just like everything around you. And um, how do you uh, how do you proceed, Sir Mimsy? You are in fact in Torian uniform, which is well declaredly their enemy, uh, Torian. I smell sand. My guy here, he uh, takes his helmet off and holds it under his arm, and he stands there, just kind of eyeing every uh, eyeing everybody, and. Uh, well then, it seems these are the first people I meet outside of my guard. Who might you be? And uh, I would uh, dare say that perhaps we could become more well acquainted over the next few moments if uh, you'll just allow me a moment. And he takes the the symbol of the Torian off his... Uh, armor there and flicks it down onto the ground. Let's go ahead and do a perception roll, everybody, as we go to our first world's turn. Nine. Fourteen. Eight. Ten. Fum and Faubert have just walked up 
as everyone's hands are raised. This was just before Sir Mimsy lowered his helmet. Um, we were sort of existing in our little pocket dimension as we did our introductions. Now, Robert. Hello. You have heard these, uh, you have heard Sir Mimsy's bit. You have watched him drop his Torian shit. Um, and how exactly do you react to it? Um, skeptically. Um, what are you doing here, Torian? What's your purpose? Who are you? Why, uh, why are you here? Why shouldn't we strike you down where you stand? I will take my sword and un- untie the whole sheath and uh, hold it out in front of me and drop it to the ground as well. And I will say, well, as you can see, I have but a little offensive against you now. I have just recently made an enemy of the Torian myself. And I'm going to turn around and wave in um, a new person. That, that seems like a good time as any to, uh, to cue me up. Uh, well, I, why don't you go ahead and slow your old big old lizard bear, Mr. Fofo Bear Bear. And Bear, as you hear a very familiar voice approaching the cave, do you have any guesses as to who this, who this, who this character might be? <gasps> Is it my BFF, um, Dara? You old grandson of a bitch, get over here! It's Dara! He runs over and gives you a big old hug. Oh, look, look, now it's, it's good to see you now, Fo What Bear, are you doing here? I can't believe my eyes! It's a real long story, it's, yeah, I tell you, kid. Uh, but I just want to tell all your uh, nice looking friends here. Uh, I recognize some of you from the the tavern, but uh, Sir Mims, he's, he's, he's a good uh, he's a good apple. Good egg. Good peach. Ah. Fine cactus. Oh. Thanks, okay. okay. Yeah, the, the whole apple peach thing didn't really resonate for me, but the cactus part, that, uh, that's, that was that did it. I can tell we've got people from all over, so I wanted to make sure I covered a lot of bases here. Sure, you know, sure, 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 sure. Bases, that's a game we have from sports ball. What exactly are you doing here, Full Bear? Oh, you know, just, um... <clears throat> and uh, Full Bear turns away from uh, Sir Mimsy ever so slightly just to kind of, like, speak to Dara uh, alone. Uh, oh, you know, we're just kind of uh, planning on overthrowing the Torian regime that's uh, taken over Kaltaria, but, you know... Torians took over Kaltaria? Yeah, you know... Uh, yeah, a little bit. But what Mimsy was telling me is true. <sighs> That's bulk, man. You know, you got a pair of some fiber knuckles I can use. Um, not personally. All right, well, I'm going to go ask around. <laughs> Let me see if they got somewhere I can wash off. You, 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 Sorry, you, did you just say wash off? I, I, I did. <laughs> yeah, yes, I did. It was not capitalized. But oh, sorry, that was triggering I, for me. Yeah, is that what that ding was? That was the ding. So, so bear. You have returned with rather big news, um, so I just want to make sure that we get your turn out if you want to announce to the group uh, what exactly you have returned for. And then uh, we will go to an open table where everyone can take their axio. Well, hi, everyone. Uh, good to uh, see you all again and meet some of you. Um, <clears throat> good to meet I've, you. It, well, you less so than others. No offense. I've already met you, and stop being rude. That I wasn't back. talking to you then, Fum, was I? Oh. Whatever, Fobo. Oh. I've always been here. Uh, you... <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Well, uh, in any case, um, hello. Um, I've just returned from the Sand Pirate. Why, why did you just say hi again? We've already gone. Oh, please go on. I'm so bad at I'm you. trying to go on. I would go on. You keep interrupting me, Fum. Trying to hype and person you. Um, in any case, I've just returned from the Sand Pirates. Um, you know, I was uh, looking to bring back a wagon that was um, stolen from our would-be stealer. Uh, what is his, his name, name exactly? Who knows? Who's to say? Who prospector you did? I've said it several times. Who's to say what the name of this individual is? In any case, I was uh, sent to retrieve his wagon, um, but in doing so, uh, 
I didn't quite achieve that objective yet. However, uh, I have made uh, a temporary and potentially permanent alliance with uh, the, the sand pirates out there um, who are willing to fight with us um, <clears throat> if, if we kill the sandworm that lives out there. Yeah, all we have to do is get rid of Sleepy Boba. Yeah, you know, which, I mean, like, it doesn't sound like too too great of a task, you know. It should be just a, you know, just a couple of stabs or two or several. Two giant It's a waldom. Yeah, it, it, you know, it. which I think I think people tend to over-exaggerate their size. You know, so I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't put too much thought on it. But yeah, we just gotta kill this thing, and uh, and then the sand pirates will uh, return the wagon and also uh, potentially uh, join us in our uh, in our, our our quest to retake Kaltaria. So who then? Yeah, so so who wants to you know stab a worm a couple of times? As Anyone? if I haven't before. What? Yeah, of course. Of course you have. We all know that about you because you've been here a long time. The whole time. I've always been here. Just right. right off of screen. Just out of panel. Okay. All right. I will kill the sandworm under the condition that somebody writes a song about it. It's really all I care about here. Well, then we need to go to the merchant and pick up some instruments. I like the way you think. I've got the snare yeah. drum part down already. If you would believe me, Dee has a wonderful voice, and she can out-sing anybody that I've ever heard of in the city. I'd love to hear it. It's true! It's true, I mean. Beautiful. That was a good example. Yes, sing the song that you were singing while you were locked up. The popular one. Oh, right, of course. <laughs> I guess I was born naturally born. This next part I love. Born by Born by yes. It's a it, just, uh, it just touches the soul. I guess I was born Born naturally yes, born. Yes, naturally born. born. Love it. Does anybody have a napkin so I can wipe the spit from my face? Oh, that was just beautiful, D. Thank you. I'm already using it, man. Best part of it, moaning. You gotta, you gotta spit. It's like acting. I think I'm covered as well. If you don't mind me getting a little, a little piece of that napkin. Does anyone have any more information about that giant worm to be stabbed? That'll be a perception for me. Hits things for fun. Of the band Hydeas. Ooh, that's a 14. You, being that um, you have transcended between games and also one of your games is focusing on the concept of the Omnitor, those being the self-aware PC. You know that you have dealt with Wadhams before. This particular type of Wadham, however, is a new one to you. Um, you do know that they stay submerged most of the time, um, that you don't actually see the body of them right out of, uh, right out of the gate. They tend to attack you with little, little mini, uh, mini vans. New water in my life. That's what I needed in this life. Yes. Where can I get some nice boots? <laughs> you want my boots? I just need to get no no no. You keep the boots. I just I've got to get some for myself. There's no way he's gonna sit in your boots. He's, he's so much smaller. Look at him. He's lost. And you know what? I'm sure we can find a a, a a nice pair of cactus boots for you. Cactus boots. Yeah, they're made out of cactus leather. Spiky on the outside or the inside. Well, you get what you pay for, you know. Legends of Raspia is brought to you by Bard Fox. Olor in the game Legends of Raspia is created and produced by Han Blackheart and Rick Tahi. Sheriff Zanhazard Hawthorne is played by Xanthi Blackheart. You can follow her on Instagram at Steamface95. 
Sir Mimsy, the ex Torian, is played by Tim Town, and you can check out his Insta where you'll find a bunch of nerdy game stuff at Mimic Q. That's M I M I C underscore Q U E U E. Konjandi, the interdimensional traveler who gaslights his way into teams and hearts, is played by Bane D. Follow him on Instagram at HitsThingsForFun and his epically awesome band Hideas at Hideas Music. Faubert Dongodare is played by Rick Tahi. You can find him on Twitter, that's R-I-K, Tahi, where he does often neglect to post things. And you can find him on Instagram at foe.diddly. Story, music, game moderation, and all other characters are played by Han Blackheart. Find him on Instagram and Twitter at Jippofox, G-Y-P-P-O-F-O-X, and check out his music at jippofox.bandcamp.com. Editing and mixing by aforementioned Rick Tahi. Visual art created by the five mentioned Xanthi Blackheart. Check out Bard Fox's Instagram, SoundCloud, and YouTube channel for more Raspian content and updates. As always, thank you for spending your valuable time with us, and good luck back there on Earth. 